What's going on, Jerome's? Take a look at another mock draft right after the seismic shift of the Russell Wilson to the Broncos uh, trade, sending the number nine overall pick to the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, the Seahawks are back in the first round, even though they always take garbage players. John Schneider, massively overrated as a GM, but whatever. Uh, Lance Zerline, NFL.com, getting after it. Highly respected uh, in terms of being a draft analyst. Uh, love and respect what he does. So let's dive on in. Who do the Vikings get? And I want as many quarterbacks to go in the top 11 as possible because the more quarterbacks that go, that means just more talented players get pushed down to the draft board uh, to the Vikings at 12. Number one, uh, Ike Kwanu. Now, this could be questionable since they just franchised tag Cam Robinson, but of course, er, you, ha you have two tackles. I think they potentially could go Aiden Hutchinson at one, uh, but Zerline drops Hutchinson. Apparently, he's not that big of a fan, so that's really interesting there at one. Uh, number two, Carolina Panthers uh, trading. Uh, he's also got some protect, uh, projected trades in here. So the Panthers make a move from 6-2 to two and take Evan Neal uh, out of Alabama. So Evan Neal and Taylor Moten are going to be a nice tackle combination long time. Could he have made it to 6? Could he have just taken Charles Cross at 6 as opposed to giving up capital? Like, why are you trading up from 6-2 to two, uh, if you're not going to take a quarterback? I don't know. Number 3... Now, this is really interesting. Texans taking Trevon Walker, first edge rusher off the board, ahead of Hutchinson, ahead of Thibodeau. So that's just super amazing, interesting. Now, a caveat is Zerline is based in Houston, so he's really dialed into that market. So maybe he knows something uh, that no one else knows. But Walker had a fantastic combine. He easily could move his way up the draft board. I'm not ready to say that he's going to be the first defensive player taken, uh, but I think that he has really cemented himself as a top end of the first round pick. Uh, uh, number four, Jets sticking and picking Kyle Hamilton, where they're passing up on Hutchinson, they're passing up on Thibodeau, but Hamilton is just a difference maker in the secondary for Rob Salah's defense. Five, wow. So this is a flamethrower. Third tackle off the board in the top five, and it's Trevor Penning. It's Trevor Pennant, man. Uh, nasty from northern uh, Iowa. Really getting after it. Did some great things at the Senior Bowl. Did great at the Combine as well. And the Giants, they got to figure something out uh, on the offensive line. And, yeah, I mean, even though you're taking a, a right tackle at number five overall, if Thomas stays at left tackle, maybe move Penning to left tackle. Maybe move Andrew Thomas around. Who knows? But that's the luxury that you have with two first-round picks. Six, Lions, who traded back and still get Aiden Hutchinson. So this would be a hell of a move by uh, Brad Holmes and, and company where, hey, you get the guy who's in-state, can absolutely get after the quarterback, who you probably would have taken at two, uh, but you get him at six and you get extra. Nice. Uh, and also, this is what Zerline wrote. Hutchinson is well-liked around the league, but maybe not loved. He lacks explosive get-off and has below average length, which may push him down a bit. Ooh, ooh. Stank. Heat. I love it. Seven, Giants are going to Jermaine Johnson the second. So this is a little bit surprising as well. So Jermaine Johnson ahead of Thibodeau. Great senior bowl. Fantastic combine. Uh, another former Georgia defender, but uh, really blew up this year at Florida State. So the Giants and Andre Patterson. Ooh, Andre Patterson working together with the Pride of Maiden Prairie. Eight, Falcons. Uh... This is just too much value to pass up on Thibodeau. Put him on the defensive line. Yes. Nine. So the Seattle Seahawks, uh, the pick that they got from the Broncos, stick it and pick and take a Malik Willis, where I feel like the comps between Willis and Russell Wilson were certainly there. So maybe they get a younger version of Russ in this spot, plus get a whole bunch of other draft capital. Drew Locke can compete with uh, Malik Willis uh, to start as the Seahawks just try to build back from the rubble. Ten. Jets really thickening out Rob Salah's secondary. So you already got Kyle Hamilton. Now you get Sauce Gardner as a cornerback one. Ooh, baby. I love it. 11, the commanders taking Garrett Wilson, wide receiver one off the board. G-Dub's going to work great with Scary Terry as well as Curtis Samuel. Now they could certainly go quarterback in the spot. Also, he mentions Kenny Green could go in the spot as well. So whatever. 12, so Sauce is off the board, but the Vikings have their choice of the rest of the cornerbacks, whether it be McDuffie, whether it be Stingley. Uh, they have the choice of the wide receivers besides Wilson. Uh, they have the choice of all the offensive linemen, uh, all the interior offensive linemen. The tackles are gone, but Linderbaum is there. Uh, Zion Johnson, Kenyon Green is there, but Derek Stingley Jr., the pride of LSU. Can he reach his potential that he showed uh, as a true freshman in 2019? Durante Jones, former LSU defense coordinator, is back as the Vikings DB coach uh, getting a look at Stingley, and he didn't work out the combine. Uh, he's still nursing an injury but at his pro day i think that he's going to show up and show out and i think that he'll remind people why uh, he is considered a top end pick 13 
Brown's Greek freak opposite of Miles Garrett. I love it. 14 Ravens taking Charles Cross, put him opposite of Ronnie Stanley. You got two great bookend tackles. Uh, 15, uh, so start of the Eagles run. The McDuffie at 15, Drake London at 16, and then at 19, you get David Ojabo. That is just gross. I mean, there's never been a bad combination of the Eagles' first-round picks. I mean, Javi Roseman is going to have a field day here. 17, the Steelers traded up with the Chargers to go get uh, Kenny Pickett, keeping him in Pittsburgh. And... You know, I, I'm not concerned so much about Kenny Pickett's hand size. I think that he'll be perfectly fine uh, with the Steelers. 18, the Saints, Kenyon Green. Uh, they need everything, uh, whether it's cornerback, whether it's linebacker, whether it's edge rusher, whether it's offensive lineman. Uh, Kenyon Green first uh, into your offensive lineman off the board and uh, going to New Orleans. 19, uh, and also uh, I think that they would have taken Kenny Pickett if he made it to 18, That hence why the Steelers jumped him. Uh, 19, Ojabo, yes. Yes, yes. 20, Jordan Davis uh, replacing Linval Joseph uh, just as the interior mauler on Brandon Staley's defense. 21, Kyra Alam. Uh, if, so uh, the 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 Xavier Rhodes comps for Alam I, I think are pretty legit. He's got length. He's got enough physical tools. And I think that he does have a, a, a nice uh, combination of, of everything just to really get after it because they traded or they got rid of Gilmore. And also they uh, are going to let J.C. Jackson go. So Belichick rebuilding things in the cornerback room. 22, the Raiders got themselves uh, a playmaker in the middle of their defense. Devin Lloyd, he is going to be that silver and black dude. He is going to be that captain. He's going to be the leader of that defense, just really getting after it. I love it. Uh, 23, Chris Olave. Uh, so Christian Kirk didn't work out. A.J. Green didn't work out. Um, Nuke is starting to get old, so Olave coming in. Uh, I think that's, this makes a lot of sense for Kyler as he needs as many weapons as possible. 24, Traylon Burks. Now, <sighs> Cedric's fine. They're probably going to re-sign Gallup or extend Gallup. And, of course, CD, CD, and uh, they're in the process of getting rid of Amari. But uh, Traylon Burks, I think that he is a guy that is going to be better than his testing numbers said. I mean, look at his tape. He, he wasn't going to be a track star uh, at the Combine, but he can go up and get it. He's the best contested uh, catch wide receiver in this class, uh, him and Drake London. So, yes, 25, Andrew Booth, where – yeah, uh, some secondary needs uh, with the Bills, even though they're pretty good at safety. They could e certainly use some cornerback help. Andrew Booth opposite of Tredavious White. Yes, 26. So the Tennessee Titans, um, Ben Jones leaving in free agency. Tyler Lindebaum, the best center in the draft, falls all the way to the Titans at 26. It makes sense. 27. So Ali Marpet retiring. Zion Johnson in a guard. Makes sense. 28. Oh, the Packers. Bernard Raymond. Yeah, they're going for the, the former tight end, uber-athletic upside, does need some seasoning before he really gets on the field. But, yeah, they need some help uh, along the offensive line. Billy Turner ain't cutting at right tackle. Raymond could be the right tackle of the future. Uh, 29, so the Dolphins taking Quay Walker. I feel like Quay is sort of the forgotten guy in the Georgia defense. He's an absolute stud, uh, but it's interesting that he's going ahead of N'Kobe Dean, his teammate. Uh, but Walker, uh, I think – Walker's pro career is going to be even better than his college career, even though it's pretty damn solid there. 30, Devontae Wyatt. Uh, speaking of Georgia, just another playmaker. De I mean, Devontae Wyatt with Chris Jones together in the middle. That's gross. 31, Tyler Smith at uh, Tulsa. Now, he's rising a lot. Uh, will he crack the first round? I don't know. I, I don't know, but it's, it's extremely interesting here. Uh, but the Bengals need as much offensive line help as possible. Yes. Uh, 32, the Lions. They already got Aiden Hutchinson at six. They can take a chance on Jamison Williams. Even if he sits out this entire season, uh, he'll be good to go next year. And then Amonra St. Brown is, is already a monster, so I, I love it. So interesting. No N'Kobe Dean. No N'Kobe Dean. But uh, at 12, the Vikings going Derek Stingley Jr. If he can pan out of that potential, the Vikings have a true blue cornerback one shutting down a one half of the field, and the Vikings can do a lot of fun things with Ed Donatel's defense uh, the rest of the way. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Take a look at Lance Zerlang's mock draft 2.0 after the Russell Wilson trade. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.